Hey everybody and welcome back. This video is titled Woman Gets Stranded by Boyfriend at Gas Station, A Few Hours Later Cop Shows Up. I've got a weird feeling about this one. A trip with your significant other is often a pleasant, enjoyable, and romantic experience. Unfortunately, they can sometimes turn into nightmares. This is exactly what happened when a 25-year-old woman got abandoned at a gas station in the middle of nowhere by her boyfriend. Lex and her boyfriend had been dating for three months and had already taken several trips together. So when she was asked to go on another trip, she didn't hesitate to accept the offer. The two set out on a trip to Mexico to spend time together. They had no idea things would go this bad for them. The couple had a Honda Element van which has quite a large space in the back. They converted this space into a temporary living space, putting a mattress to sleep. This made the long journey pretty comfortable. This way there was no need to make stops for hostels or tents. Lex was napping when her boyfriend pulled over for gas. Lex woke up and noticed where they were. She needed to stretch her legs anyways so she went to use the restroom. Surely, a long drive can make anyone's leg cramp. After a few minutes, Lex returned back to where the van was parked only to find it missing. She assumed her boyfriend had parked around the back of the building. Lex looked around the building for the van but couldn't find it. She even joked to herself that he didn't see her get out and had abandoned her. Before we continue, if you like this video please like, comment or subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Now back to the video. But time passed on and there was still no sign of the van. The panic started to set in. Had her boyfriend truly abandoned her? Lex sat down heavily on a bench as the truth of the situation dawned on her. She tried to figure out what she should do. The options were very limited, but she had to try. But things were definitely not on her side. She decided to call him, only to find she'd forgotten her phone in the van. She went into the store and asked the clerk if she could use their phone, but they were indifferent and told her that they didn't have one. Lex did the only thing she could and approached strangers for assistance, who were skeptical. Which was understandable. People don't usually trust strangers easily. Nobody wanted to give her their phone. But she ultimately found someone putting gas in their vehicle who was willing to lend her their phone. However, Lex's relief was short-lived as she realized she didn't know her boyfriend's phone number by heart. Lex realized her only option was to dial her own phone number. She just had to hope he'd pick it up, even though she knew the chances were stacked against her. Her phone was in the back and he was driving. All she could do was keep asking to borrow other people's phones and keep trying. She got a bright idea while using someone's phone. She could get her boyfriend's number from his Facebook profile. And she actually got his number luckily. She obtained his phone number only to discover that it was turned off. How could he have overlooked her absence or her phone's constant ringing? Two hours had gone, and despite her best efforts, Lex was beginning to lose hope. And when she tried to explain her position to the strangers she met at the petrol station, she received a mixed response. Some didn't believe her, some felt sorry for her, and one generous man even offered to pay for Lex's hotel room, apparently believing the boyfriend had dumped her on purpose and she was simply too humiliated to admit it. Despite her best efforts, the store employees had been unhelpful. They had not only refused to lend her the phone that they clearly had, but they had also been eyeing her suspiciously as she hung around the gas station begging passers-by for help. Lex was frustrated, sweaty, and unable to hold back her tears after two hours. So she sat down on a bench and sobbed, convinced that things couldn't get any worse. But that's precisely when a cop arrived. Yes, the store workers had called the cops on Lex, evidently believing that a woman alone and crying in the middle of the desert was suspiciously criminal behavior. The officer explained calmly but forcefully to Lex that the store clerks had phoned them complaining about a lady loitering and haggling individuals for phones. Although that was one way to explain Lex's actions, she swiftly revealed to the officer the complete story and the real reason she was stranded there. The female cop was as perplexed as Lex, but fortunately believed her story, for the most part, and quickly took pity on her. Despite her concerns, she stated Lex couldn't stay. Her options were to either seek a ride to a nearby truck rest stop or to accompany her to the police station. Lex chose option one because she didn't want to feel like a criminal. The cop reluctantly agreed to bring Lex to the truck stop, but it was evident she assumed her boyfriend had left her there on purpose and thought Lex was naive to keep expecting he would return for her. However, while they were heading down the interstate, another cop on the radio said that he was at the very same gas station they had just left, with a worried man looking for his girlfriend. 
I just crack up and she does too, flips the car around and takes me back. And there my boyfriend is standing outside of his car, banging on the windows and nearly crying because he couldn't believe he'd actually done that, she said. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like this video, please like, comment or subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.